Hi, I'm Frederick. And I'm Glenn. And together, we're, we're the, the Property, Property Guys. Guys. So the value of using the Property Guys is we can sell your home for a lot more for a little bit of money invested into a project. So today we meet the Rhodes. The Rhodes are a great family. They've lived in Chula Vista for over 20 years in the same house. And now, kids have moved out. So for them, it's time to get out of the nest. The absolute first thing we do before starting anything is do a walkthrough on the home. Cut out on well, this Well, first of all, this popcorn's gotta go. This is ridiculous. Pergo floors, really? I hardwood. Think, I, think, I said hardwood, this whole thing. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay, this looks like a lot of mint. I haven't yeah. seen this much mint since Miami Vice. And we're looking at about $15,000. So is that something that sounds about what you thought or? This is the true value of using the property, guys. Is for a little bit of extra money, $15,000, we're gonna be able to sell the home for $50,000 more than if we just put it on the market as is. If you uh, can stick to those numbers. So it's my challenge to get you the right Yeah, if you can stick to those numbers or even a little less. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. More bang for our buck. And now it's time to get down to business. Start this renovation as soon as possible and get all this work done. It's business, it's not business. Business. So in the meantime, what I get to do is I get to go through all these boxes that I ordered from Amazon, start opening them up. It's like Christmas. There's lights, there's gonna be fixtures, there's gonna be all sorts of stuff. I can't wait. Frederick isn't just here to open boxes. He's Superman, and he's here to get this renovation done. I'm gonna get it. It's just being a little temperamental. Really nice to you. You'd be nice to me, of course not. Oh, hello. How many Fredericks does it take to install one lighting fixture? Just one, Glenn. Let's check this out. Hey, now. <laughs> Thank God the painting is behind us. <laughs> a long and tedious process, huh? It has been huh? a long day. But it turned out good. I can sit down now and look at it, and it's like, wow. It feels so fresh. It feels so clean. It's perfect. It's a lot of work, but worth it. And now the home is ready for people to see. So all our hard work has finally paid off. Open house went great. We have a great offer. It's above value. I can't wait to present it to the roads. I just got the craziest phone call I've ever received in my entire life as a real estate agent. Hello, this is Glenn. This is ridiculous, and I've never had this happen. I hope it never happens again. Apparently, the buyer hates his job so much he quit it 48 hours before we're supposed to close escrow. Why? Why would anyone ever do that? When you get a loan in general, you fill out an application. It says you have a job. Now, before the lender releases loan docs for you to buy your house, they call your employer again. And if you don't have a job, you're not getting a loan. It's that simple. This is really, 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 really bad. bad. This is calmer heads will prevail and we're going to get this to work and we're going to put it together. Come hell or high water. I guarantee that. All right, so here's the phone call with the buyer's agent. It's time to perform. It's time to put this thing to bed and make it a win-win for everybody. Hello, this is Glenn. Okay. Need the wire instructions right now? I can do that. Sounds like very good news. They're gonna wire in the whole amount, huh? Today, right now? Great job. I mean, way to pull this together. I don't know what you did or what you said. So we've cleared contingencies on your escrow. And this puppy is done. Oh. It's sold. Not awesome. Really? It's sold. Is that such okay. a weight off your souls or what? It's done. It's over. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. They took us in a direction that sells homes. And the two guys, I mean, they they worked with us. Uh, you know, spending their Saturdays and Sundays here working away from their families. They didn't let us down. <laughs>